Yes. Talia. Well, I've completed the Arkham Knight only to find that the Al Ghuls in League of Assassins are sadly absent from the game's main plot. So it's time to recap what makes this femme fatale tick. For those of you unfamiliar with the Al Ghul family, the short version is that they are the leaders of the League of Assassins, a group of, well, you guessed it, assassins, with a little dash of terrorism on the side. The League is a key part of the DC Universe, as they often end up in opposition to Batman. And like most women in Bruce's life, Talia al Ghul has a complicated on-again-off-again -again relationship with Bruce Wayne. You didn't need to get yourself arrested to see me, Bruce. After that night we spent in Metropolis, you could have just called. It's a nice homage to the romance between the two characters, but doesn't change the fact that Talia's ultimate goal is leading the League of Assassins. When Batman reveals he was using her to get to her father's blood in order to cure the disease Joker passed on to him, she's reasonably upset. You should have killed me. Yes, he should have. What kind of a man sacrifices his own daughter? And you, you lied to me. I thought you loved me, Bruce. I thought you were ready to join our crusade. Talia, I... Don't! You two deserve each other. My absolute favorite thing about Talia is that she's fiercely unapologetic, even to Batman. Although her affection for Bruce Wayne is clear, her duty to the League of Assassins is even clearer. Later in the game, it is revealed that Talia began tracking Batman after their first encounter at the League's headquarters, and when he is held hostage by Joker, she makes a deal. Talia, what are you doing? I represent the great Raish al Ghul. Head of the Demon, Master of the League of Assassins. Well, bully for you! Free Batman, and we will give you the secret of immortality. Talia is of course double-crossing Joker, stealing the cure from Harley Quinn before being double-crossed by Joker herself, something she definitely saw coming. Take a look at your girlfriend, who, as you can see, is in danger of having her pretty little brain splattered all over this camera. <laughs> Ignore him, beloved. Let him die. Too late, Batman. Give me the cure! But you've already got the cure. Talia, no! <laughs> there is absolutely no hesitation when Talia stabs Joker through the heart killing him. But it doesn't quite go as planned. Despite the fact that she was able to succeed where Batman had failed, they both missed the biggest twist of all. The Joker Talia killed was not Joker. Gotcha! You fell for the old fake Joker gang, Batman! Talia! Oh. I'm sorry, beloved. I didn't know. The Joker Talia thought she had killed was in fact Clayface, who absorbs the cure into his body and then battles it out with Batman. After that, Batman goes on to destroy the Lazarus Pit Joker attempts to use with Talia's sword. There was much speculation at the time as to whether or not Talia is in fact dead, seeing as the use of Lazarus Pits is so common among the League of Assassins and during the ensuing fight with Clayface, her body seemingly disappeared. Despite the Al Ghul's absence from Arkham Knight, I believe there may still be hope that we'll see some form of League Assassins appear when there's another Batman game. But for now, we can appreciate that Talia Al Ghul is definitely one of the most badass assassins 
in the DC Universe. Check out GameRevolution.com for more video game news, reviews, and previews. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more original content. And stay tuned for more episodes of Bam Babes.